Hi. Hello, hi, hi. You probably saw me on your cruise, or maybe I came to your college, or your comedy club, or to your corporate event. Anyway, I'm here right now to teach you how to juggle, because who cares about job security, right? Who cares about job security? Let's just let everyone know how it's done, and then you can compete for my job. That'll make me want to work harder, hopefully, right? So I don't lose a job. Anyway, that's what we're doing. We're gonna play catch with ourselves. Throw things up and catch it. Boom, that's what we're doing right now. First, let's talk about the props you want. We're gonna start with balls. Balls probably the easiest thing to start with when it comes to juggling. I mean, you could do like bags or something or something that floats like scarves. But we're jumping right into it, okay? We're gonna get right in to the balls. First things first, you probably don't have a juggling ball laying around your house. If you do, maybe you gave up on juggling a long time ago. I don't know what you've done in the past. I don't actually know who you are. However, if you don't have any juggling balls, that's fine. If you, you can use any type of ball that looks like this. If it's um, a tennis ball, a softball, uh, a baseball, that's perfect. If it's an egg, don't do it. That's not gonna be funny. You're gonna get your parents mad at you if you break an egg. Come on, who does? Who breaks eggs? I like to use bean bags, because if you, if you drop a bean bag and I drop a lot of bean bags, it'll just stay put. I know you can't see it, but it just stays where I dropped it, because that's what bean bags do. Uh, socks, if you want to use socks. I don't love to use socks because a lot of my socks are dirty like all the time. So I prefer just to stick with my juggling equipment. These are balls, juggling balls. We're gonna start with one, put the other two away. This is, ju this is juggling 101, step by step. First, hold one ball in one hand. Maybe your right hand if you're right-handed, your left hand if you're left-handed. It doesn't matter because it's gonna go to the other hand anyways. You need to learn with both. You're gonna hold your arms at a 90 degree angle, shoulder length apart. Shoulder length apart. It's from the side, this is what it looks like for you, head on, all right? And this is the first move and the only move when it comes to juggling three balls that we're gonna learn right now. Here we go, you ready for it? No one's clapping, but we did it. That's one ball, let's do it again. Now notice how I scoop the ball a little bit. I don't just throw it. I scoop it down with my right hand and my left hand and the ball only goes a few inches higher than my head. It's not going way up there. It's not getting lost in the rafters. No, it's staying close to you. The closer the ball stays to you, the more accuracy you're gonna have. It's science or something, I don't know. I'm, I'm a juggler, I don't know about physics or geometry or symmetry, rectangles. I just know about juggling. Let's not share that with anyone else. Okay, so let's do this again. Throw, catch, throw, catch. This is, this is not only is this one ball juggling, but this is the same exact throw you're gonna do when we learn two balls, when we learn three balls. It's the same throw. It's the same throw. Just get comfortable with this. Bend your knees if you want. Get loose. Get loose with it. Bend your knees. Get loose. Get it loose. This is fun. All right, once you guys have mastered this, which looking, uh, looking at you guys practice, I think you're doing a great job. I really, I can't see you. I'm just making a joke. Okay. We're still doing this for a little bit longer. One thing you don't want to do is not master a step and then go on to another step. Like if, if you're going like this and you're not catching the ball, here I am, it's probably not a good thing to keep going and continuing. You want to make sure that you're, you're solid with step one before you move to numero dos, step number two. All right, but I think we're ready to move on. I think we are ready. Two balls. Two. Now two balls is a lot similar to one ball, okay? So you start with one ball in each hand. When you throw the first ball up, when it gets here, that's when you're gonna throw up the second ball. So it's gonna, go, it's gonna look like this. Don't worry about uh, the catches right now, just worry about the throws. You'll understand what I mean later. So just gonna go this. Throw, throw, catch, catch, or drop, drop. You see that? See what I did there? I threw each ball up, and then instead of catching it, I let them fall. Why did I do that? Because you wanna make sure you have perfect throws, okay? If you have perfect throws, your hands will be there to catch them anyways, so it doesn't really matter, right? So it's gonna go two balls, two balls, throw, throw, drop, drop, dun, dun. Now if you look down here, the balls are about the same distance away from my feet. It's like if you drew a, a symmetrical, if you drew a symmetrical line down here, it'd be like a mirror image. My feet, the balls, the distance between them, it's perfect, it's beautiful, I love it. Let's do it again. This time, let them fall to the floor one last time. 
Throw, throw, catch, catch. Now I know a lot of people out there are gonna be going like this. They're saying, Marcus, look, I can juggle. I'm doing it. I'm doing two balls. I'm like, yeah, well, what you're doing is just you're throwing one up and handing another ball to your other hand and throwing that up. Remember when I said this is gonna be the only throw we're gonna do? That's right, that's I meant it. I meant it because juggling two balls. You're just doing that same throw we did for one ball, just at different times from different hands to different hands. Is your mind exploding with this knowledge? Am I going too fast? I'll slow it down for you, I apologize. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. We're not handing over. Each ball gets thrown the exact same way, the exact same height. You don't want two different balls at different heights getting thrown around. That's gonna, that's gonna, there, that's illegal. That is illegal. They will arrest you for that. They won't really arrest you for that, but don't do it. It's a bad habit. It's a good thing to break bad habits as soon as you start them. No, it's a good thing to break bad habits before you start them. Create good habits. You're looking at me like I'm, I should know what I'm talking about. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Say it out loud. I know you, you look like a crazy man saying it out loud. You look super silly, but that's gonna help you drill into, you, into your head, into your muscle memory what you're doing. We're juggling two balls. We're going throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. We're doing it. Now don't be, don't be mad if you can't do it right away. Not a lot of people can just pick up two balls and just throw them from hand to hand in a timely fashion about the same height with their arms at 90 degrees with their knees slightly bent. Not a lot of people can do that, okay? If it was easy, everyone could do it and I'd be out of a job. Okay, we don't want that. Trust me, we don't want that. I got a lot of people that depend on me. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. You're doing great, big guy. Keep it up. Little girl, you're doing good too. Is that weird little girl, young lady? I'm sorry, I don't have kids. Okay, okay. Maybe that's a good thing, I don't know. We don't know, we'll never find, we'll never know. Well, we will when I have kids. Anyway, this, this got weird. We're, we're talking about kids, we should be juggling. We should be juggling. Okay, keep doing this a little bit more, a little bit longer. If you've got the hang of it, good. If you don't got this, put this, put it on pause or, or watch something else on the DVD and come back to this once you know once you know you're ready to move on. Once you know you're ready to move on. There's no rushing it. It took me like four months to learn how to juggle three balls. That's a ridiculous slow amount of time. I was nine years old. Nine years old when I first started juggling. All right, I think we're ready for three balls. A lot of you probably thought, hey, we're gonna start with three right away. We gotta, we gotta climb that mountain slowly. I don't wanna rush, but I feel like you guys are doing good. You're doing good, we're ready to move on to three balls. Oh, I'm so excited. I. I'm gonna get emotional because I love teaching juggling. I love showing juggling. I just love juggling in general. Obviously, it's my life. This is gonna be, you're gonna love this. Okay, it gets harder, guys. It gets a lot harder, but I have complete faith in you. What you wanna do, hold two balls in one hand, hold one ball in the other hand. When the first, this is the first ball you're gonna throw. This one right here, see it? See, this ball right here, this ball right here. This ball right here, this ball right here. If you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, this ball, <laughs> this ball. Although if you're watching this on the TV, this probably looks like my right hand to some people. It's not, it's my left hand. It's TV magic, how's it work? No one knows, I'm in a box, get me out of the box. Okay, sorry, all right. So you're gonna throw this ball. That's step one, you're gonna throw that ball, right? Throw that up ball. When the ball, when the first ball you throw gets right here to the apex, its highest point, should be a few inches above your forehead. I'm getting excited, guys. I'm getting excited, because that's when you're gonna throw the second ball. Now the second ball is gonna go the same height to the other hand, just like we were doing two balls. Remember when we were doing two balls? Throw, throw, catch, catch. Well, guess what? When you throw the second ball, that's when you throw the third ball the same way you threw the first ball. Is your, are you getting this? Am I explaining it good? I hope so, I hope so. Here you go, this, I'm gonna throw each ball once and catch it, and that's called a flash. <laughs> you can look it up, it's a real juggling word. We're very creative people. Throw, 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 catch, catch, catch. That was a flash. I'm, I'm excited, I don't know about you. Throw, 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 catch, catch, catch. Throw. And then now, no, I got ahead of myself, now I'm gonna do it from the other hand. Starting with my left hand, for all you lefties out there, this is what it looks like for you. Throw, 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 catch, catch, catch. 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 
just want to say that you're doing good, okay? Don't get discouraged right away. It's not easy. I, I, gotta, I can't emphasize that enough. Juggling is not easy. If it was easy, everyone could do it, and not everyone can do it. Trust me, I can barely do it, and it's my job. Honestly, real talk, it's hard to do. Let's do it again. Three balls, a flash. Now, have you mastered that? Have you mastered the flash? You see me just hand over. I did, I did something I told you I wasn't going to do. But I'll just start with the other hand. There we go. See, I can do it. Hear that rhythm. You hear that? I'm trying to make it louder so you can hear the rhythm. All right, now let's add a couple more throws. Maybe five. Let's do five throws. You hear that? One, two, three, four, five. Let's do six throws and then stop, okay? Let's just do six, six throws and stop. Now listen, I know a lot of people are gonna be walking with it, right? They're gonna be walking with it, they're gonna not know when to throw, and of course, and of course some people are gonna try to hand off still. They're gonna get confused and hand off. Here are some pointers, okay? Remember, you're gonna throw on the inside. You're crossing, you're making an X on the inside. You're not going around the pattern, you're going on the inside, just like this. This is the inside pattern. That's what you're doing. You're not going up here, you're not going up here, and you're also not catching the balls like this. You see that? You're not gonna catch them like this. You're nice, you're relaxed. Ugh. Tense up your shoulders. Then relax them. Just gonna visualize it in my head before I do it, which is just as good as saying it out loud. You look less weird, of course. I don't know if it's as helpful. I think it is. It works for me. Visualize in your head what you're gonna do. Four throws. Boom. Five throws. Boom. Six throws. Six catches. See that? I ended up exactly where I was when I first started. Boom, every ball ran its course and now they're back at the beginning part of my hands. It's, it's a good feeling, this is great. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just running this now. I'm just running it. All right, if you, guys are, if you guys are feeling good, just do as many throws as you can, then stop, collect. When it starts getting messy, collect. When it starts getting messy, bring it in. You don't wanna train yourself to make bad habits, otherwise you'll be out here, you'll be off camera trying to juggle. Okay, is this good? It's not good, bring it in. Is that too close? Do you see that? This is juggling, dude, we're juggling three balls. Look, we're not done, guys, we're just getting started. You know, this is like the base of learning everything, and now from this, you can branch off. There's literally millions of moves you can learn how to do. Some of them aren't even invented yet. You can maybe invent your own juggling move. How cool is that? It's now time for four balls. Can you believe it? We're gonna juggle four balls? We just did three, and now we're doing four? Only if you're ready. You can always come back to this part of the DVD anytime, okay? I started juggling when I was nine years old. I'm not nine anymore, I'm a little bit older than that, but I think if you're around six years old and up, it's a good time to learn how to juggle. It's good eye-hand coordination, right? Maybe they should teach the pro athletes how to juggle. Maybe I am a pro athlete, depending on what defensive juggler you talk to. To learn four balls, this is gonna be a little bit weird, but I want you to take four balls, put half of them away, let's work with two. It'll all make sense in a second, because four balls, four balls is just two balls in each hand. Has your mind been blown more than once today because of this juggling thing? It should be. What that means is, if I do this on one side, and this on the other side, I put that together, and that's how you juggle four balls. So before we start that, let's just learn two balls. This is two balls in one hand. Very, very fun. All right. So, instead of crossing, instead of crossing, we're not gonna cross anymore. We're not gonna cross anymore. You gotta get over it. Get over the crossing. You're gonna do two balls in one hand. So it looks like this for the flash. Each ball you throw is gonna kinda move from the inside to the outside. Inside to the outside. Inside to the outside. I'm gonna exaggerate it. It's like this, very exaggerated. Extremely exaggerated, it looks like this. But it kinda goes like this. All right, you're gonna have your arms still bent approximately 90 degrees. Show off those, those muscles if you got them. I do not. Here we go, flash with two balls. And then the other hand, get comfortable with the other hand. 
If you're, if you're left-handed, you know, if you're right-handed, you gotta work on the left hand a lot more than you do your right hand. If you're left-handed, you gotta work on your right hand probably a lot more than you would your right hand. Am I right? You gotta train both arms equally, otherwise this hand will be like, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Am I juggling? What am I doing? Inside to the outside. Inside, outside. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. On this hand, Great, now just like we did three, don't expect to learn how to juggle two balls in one hand right away. Guys, this takes time, it takes hours, it takes days, it takes weeks, it takes months. The more practice you put into it though, the more you will get out of it. So if I practice every day 20 minutes, you're gonna start seeing, hey, this is getting easier, and it's getting easier and easier, and pretty soon you'll be juggling four balls at a party. People are like, oh man, did you see Gary? He can juggle four balls, and they'll be like, no, he can probably juggle three. Like, no, he can juggle four balls. They were like, oh, Gary, looking good, all right. I'm just saying you might make friends. You might, are you good with two balls in each hand? Are you, are you good with two balls in each hand? Can you do it maybe four times stopping, controlled with each hand? Can you do it? Can you do it? If you can, and only if you can, then grab four balls. Let's get four balls. And let's do, let's do, uh, Two, let's just do two throws, two catches. Now when the first ball starts coming down, that's when I throw the second ball. Just like three balls, but to the same hand. These balls are not crossing each other. There are four ball patterns you can do where the balls do cross, we're not working on that. We're just working on four balls, the basic pattern, two balls in each hand, inside to the outside. It's not as exaggerated anymore, but I'm still doing it. All right, now let's do four catches, four throws. What's that called? A flash, that's right, a flash, here we go. See that? Now we can start with the left hand. Left-handed flash, right-handed flash, left-handed flash, left-handed flash. I wonder if you can make it a song. Probably not if you want people to keep watching. Now I'll start with the right, and the left, and the right and the left. All right, we're feeling good with it, right? You're doing good? Please, don't be discouraged if you can't do this right away. It took me so long, and I know I'm rushing through it, I'm rushing through it just so you can learn how to do it, so you know later on when it's time for you to actually do it, you'll know. Let's do, uh, let's do like six throws. That looks good, right? Now, let's just, uh, let's keep four balls going as long as we can. Just watch me doing it. That way you can do it at home. Visualize it before you do it. Get that rhythm. It feels good when you can get that rhythm going. And stop. Shake it out, shake it out. Doing good, doing good. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Four balls, starting with your left hand if you were starting with your right hand earlier. Or start with your right hand if you were starting with your left hand earlier. Just keep it going. Feels good. You guys are kicking butt, I love it. I love it. Awesome. That's four balls, now you can do it in sync. You don't have to do it. I'm, I'm still not switching arms. See this, I'm gonna sync up the pattern. Boom, boom, boom. Each ball is going with each other. My arms are moving together. They're in tandem. We're working together, it's teamwork. Even though you're working by yourself. It's still, is it still teamwork? I think so, I think so. Here we go. Killing it. All right. Well, if you have any questions on that, please feel to contact me. Feel free to contact me on uh, any social media platform of your choosing. Be happy to help you. Five balls. Oh no. Five balls is, is is extremely difficult, and I don't expect anyone to put in this DVD and learn how to juggle five balls immediately. You can do it if you put in the time. A lot like three, except it's a lot higher and a lot faster, so it seems. It's not really, but it seems that way. You hold three balls in one hand, two balls in the other. This ball's the first one to go. When you throw the first ball up, as soon as it starts coming down, just like three balls, that's when you throw the second ball. I'm gonna do a flash for you right away, because if you're starting with five balls, you know how to juggle three balls, you definitely know how to juggle four. So here we go, here's a five ball flash. I'm gonna back up so you can get this in the shot. See that? I'm throwing each ball up one time, catching it, stopping. 
then I'm starting again with my opposite hand. So here I started with my right hand, now I'm starting with my left hand. See where the balls are peaking a few inches above my head? Now I'm gonna start with my left, now I'm gonna start with my right, and also feel free to take the exercises we learned when we were doing two balls, we throw the balls up, and then land at your feet. And here's the pattern, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then hit the ground. And you'll see I have three balls on this side, two balls on that side. Here, I'm gonna show you. Three balls there, two balls there. Three balls there, two balls there. That's how it should look. That is juggling five balls. Let's do some more five ball juggling. There is 10 throws, 10 catches. Do as much as you want right now. If you can do it, if you can keep it going, keep it going. No need to stop on my account. Don't stop for me. Keep running it. Five balls looks nice and good. A lot of cool tricks you can do with five balls. You can bring it down real, real controlled. It's a lot faster here when you're at your three ball height, juggling five balls. Bring it back up to the five ball height. And collect. Now a good exercise before you just jump right into five balls is called the three ball snake. Pull three balls in one hand and you're gonna snake them across to the other hand and stop. One, two, three, and stop. You can do the snake with one hand and stop it. Make it a continuous snake. The longest snake you've seen, just keep running it. This is gonna help you with ball control when you're juggling five balls. Five balls is difficult. It's not easy. Not everyone can do it. That's just a good tip. If you can do this, I'm so happy, I'm so proud. I feel like I've done, my, I've done my duty, I've done my part. Well today we have learned one ball, we learned two, we learned three, four, and five balls. You learned how to juggle up to five balls today. I'm so happy you chose to learn how to juggle with me. I hope I helped you learn how to do it. Again, don't get discouraged if it doesn't happen overnight, okay? But the more you put into it, the more you're gonna get out of it. Can I start over? I feel like the whole thing, I just talked nonsense. Good, we did good. We did, just, you know, have fun with it. Enjoy it, it's supposed to be fun. When it stops being fun, stop doing it.